All right. Hi, everyone. It's Morgan here at JotForm. Welcome to today's Snack Break webinar, where we are going to be exploring our updated integration with Unbounce. Unbounce is a leader in A-B test landing pages, and they've recently launched their AI-powered Smart Builder and Smart Traffic to supercharge their offering. Smart Builder features AI-generated text composition based on a few keywords that you provide and some prompts that you answer. And Smart Traffic automatically sends potential clients to the version of your landing page that's most likely to make them convert. Put together, these tools can help you create an impactful landing page 50% faster than with other landing page builders and increase conversions by up to 30%. So that's fantastic news for Unbounce, but you may be wondering where JotForm comes in and why we're here today. Unbounce's new offering includes an integrated JotForm app that makes it easier than ever before to pull your forms into custom, personalized, targeted landing pages. You will need both an Unbounce and a JotForm account for this, of course, but once you're up and running with Unbounce, you can start creating your landing pages and then connect the JotForm app to add any form or forms that you'd like. From here, you can also take advantage of smart traffic to see how your form measures up. This has pretty huge implications for any type of form. While well, Unbounce does offer native forms, the JotForm integration means that you can continue to collect and manage data in a singular place, JotForm, and that includes those of you who are using HIPAA or have HIPAA protected fields on your forms. Now you can create your Unbounce A-B testing pages or smart traffic pages faster than ever before, add your form and use data feedback to see which versions connect. For example, which contact us form drives more leads or which payment processor generates more sales or which version of introductory text leads to cleaner, more complete surveys. This integration is going to be far more impactful for you to see in action. So at this point, I'm going to turn things over to my colleague, Luke. Uh, Luke is here today to walk us through a couple of different examples of how to get set up and use the JotForm app and Unbounce. So I'm going to turn things over to Luke and I will uh, close this out at the end. Thank you, Morgan. Very happy to be here today. Talk about Unbounce. Smart Builder and JotForm. I'm gonna share my screen here. So we have two demos for you today. I have two demos for you today. Uh, in demo one, I'm gonna take a landing page that I have already built with Unbounce and Smart Builder, and I'm going to add two forms to from my JotForm account to that landing page using the JotForm app from Unbounce. I'm gonna use two different methods to add my forms, as you'll see. In demo two, <clears throat> pardon me. In demo two, I'm going to show you how to create your own landing page with Unbounce and Smart Builder using the AI tools that Morgan mentioned. And then we'll, of course, add a form from JotForm. So let's get started with demo one. As you can see, I'm on the Unbounce homepage. Let's log in. We will choose Smart Builder and Classic Builder. Here is my list of landing pages I've built with Unbounce and Smart Builder. I have one published, the rest are drafts. Let's select a draft to work with by choosing the icon to the right with the three dots and selecting edit. Okay, so here is a landing page from Unbounce that I have already created. As I said, I'm gonna show you how to create your own landing page with Unbounce and Smart Builder in demo two. Now, as you can see, there is already a form here, right here. This is a form from Unbounce. This form is not from JotForm, but as many of us know, most landing pages include forms. Unbounce knows this. That's why they offer their own forms. But they also know that many of their users would prefer to use JotForm for any number of reasons. Like Morgan mentioned, perhaps you want all your data in one place, or you want to use HIPAA compliant forms, which JotForm offers. Uh, perhaps you want to use JotForm features such as conditional logic. Maybe you want to see your, your data in a JotForm table, uh, a spreadsheet uh, type format, or you want to use any other of JotForm's automation tools, perhaps JotForm reports, which creates automatic reports with the data you collect. So that is why Unbounce created the JotForm app uh, within Smart Builder. So let's add that. And we're going to add that and then add two forms using two different methods uh, with Smart Builder. 
So the way you access the JotForm app is the app's home up here in the upper left cor corner of the page, the puzzle piece icon. Let's select that. Let's search for JotForm. There it is. There's a JotForm app. Let's hit the plus icon to add it. And it has been added. Now, when you add the JotForm app, you're taken to this page first. Uh, your first option is to add a JotForm section. And you have a different, uh, different options as far as what that section will look like. Now, you don't have to add a JotForm form in this way. Like I said, we're going to swap that previous form, that unbounce form, out for a JotForm form uh, during this demo. But since you're taken to this page right away, let's see what this looks like. This will be the first of two forms we add to our landing page here. Let's try this option, this layout. This looks good. And like I said, this, this form here down here, we're gonna, that's an unbounced form. We're gonna swap that out for a job form form in a minute. But first let's see what this looks like. Up here, this is what the job form app looks like. We're gonna select add a form from job form. You can allow that to happen, authenticate your account. You're then taken to a page with your forms from job form. I recommend having your form ready to go when you wanna add it to your landing page. However, you can also select the create new job form link up here in the right upper right portion of the page. This will open your job form account in a new tab. You can go to work in the job form form builder, create your form, and then come back here and hit the refresh list button. And that will refresh your list and put your form here on this page. However, my form is ready to go. I'm going to select it and it's been added to our page. I'm going to show you what that looks like on the preview slider in just a second. But first, let's show you what the editing tool looks like. You can edit all these uh, elements on your landing page. I think this is a good spot to advertise a newsletter, perhaps. So let's say Pizza News. And what the preview slider on the very top of the page to show what that looks like. And there you go. It's been added. Okay, now let's swap out this unbounced form here for a form from job form. This is very simple to do. All you do is click on this element and find the change element button. Select that and choose job form here. Once again, the job form app is going to work and you can add a form from job form. I have my form ready to go. So I will select it. You can see it's not the size we want, no worries there. We're going to change that by selecting the element, choosing the gear icon here where it says job form settings. And I know from some very brief trial and error that this form looks good with a height of 285 pixels. So we change that. You can also uh, refresh your form here. Say you wanted to go back to job form account and change your form for any number of reasons. You can come back to this page, refresh your form, and those changes will be reflected. You can also change your form completely to a different form entirely. And you can swap, you can uh, toggle conversion tracking on or off. As you can see, on is the default setting. So that's been changed. Let's see what this looks like as a finished product. There we go. We've added two different forms to our landing page, one job form section, and we've swapped out one unbounced form for a job form form here. All right, let's try demo number two where we are gonna start this process from scratch. I'm gonna show you how to create your own landing page with Unbounce and Smart Builder. So once again, we're on the Unbounce homepage. We will log in. We will select Smart Builder and Classic Builder. Here is our list of landing pages. Let's select Create New here up in the top right portion of the page. And we'll choose Smart Builder, of course, start building. OK, here we go. This is when we start inputting information into Smart Builder from Unbounce so it can create us a great landing page. So step one is our company name or project name. Let's go with Creative Consulting. Next, what type of page is this? As Smart Builder says, it will use this to recommend great page layouts tailored to, to us, to our business here. Let's select business services. And what is the purpose of this page? This has a lot of great options. 
we're going to use showcase purchase. We want to showcase our brand and provide a pathway for potential clients to uh, purchase services from our business. Okay, now this part, do you want to include a form? This is a little bit tricky because if you say yes, you're allowing Smart Builder to include a form from Unbounce. Now, I'm going to say yes, it's my personal preference because that way, if I have, if I ask Smart Builder to create a landing page with a form already included, a form from Unbounce already included, Smart Builder will create a landing page that has a nice spot for a form that looks great within the layout that it creates for us. Then we can simply swap that un unbounced form out for a form from job form like we did in demo one. So I'm going to say yes here. You can also say no and add a job form section if you like. It's all up to you. So next, what would you like to name this page? This is mostly for cataloging purposes. So just name the page something you can remember. Let's go with creative leads. And we'll hit next, style this page and go on to the next step. Okay, so here we go. Our page is taking shape in no time. Let's try some different styles. This is a default business style. Let's try this one, classic martini. That's very similar, but uh, you know, I like that a lot better. A little bit softer with the brown buttons here as opposed to the bright red. Let's go on to the next step and create some copy for our page. All right, so here's where we start giving Smart Builder more information about our business so it can create the ideal landing page for us. So company description is first. Let's try something like this. Let's go with creative, modern, marketing, solutions, uh, catered to firms of all types and sizes. It sounds pretty good. And notice this enhanced copy slider here. Let's turn that on and show you what that looks like. Now, I definitely recommend using this because the more information you give Smart Builder, the more precise it can build a landing page catered to your business. So information such as brand descriptors, like inclusive, confident, compassionate. You can add your target audience. You can add feature words such as feature words or phrases uh, that set your product or service apart. Uh, benefit words or phrases that express what you want your customers to feel or achieve. But for the sake of this demo, we're going to just go with our company description and ask Smart Builder to generate us some copy. All right, so there we go. The AI tool has worked. It's written words for us on the page. Kind of like magic. Who doesn't like that? It's like having in your own personal assistant, your own personal writing assistant. Not bad. All right. So what did it come up with? Let's check it out. Customize marketing plans for your company. Not bad. I like it. However, you can ask Smart Builder to generate more copy. Up to three options. All right. Option two, find the right solution for your business. Also solid. Well, let's see what option three has for us. Generate more copy. Ah, grow with creative consulting. I like that the best. It's uh, specific to our brand. We can change the we can change these to capital C's and creative consulting here when we start editing. That's not a problem. So let's go with this option. I'm going to hit the choose this option button. Here our page is being created. Like I said, it's our own personal assistant. Got to love that. Okay, so here is our page with a form that is not from job form. This is a unbounced form, but we want to use job form so we can get all our data in one place and use a bunch of great job form automation tools with unbounced, get the best of both worlds. So once again, we're going to add the job form app, which you will have, to, which you must do with every landing page you create. That's not a problem though. It just takes a second to do. As we know, we're going to search for job form add it and and in this case we're just gonna we're just gonna x this we're gonna close this page and keep working just like that and you can you know close the page with the by hitting the x in the upper right hand corner of the page because i would rather i don't want to add a job form section in this case i just want to swap our unbounced form out for our job form 
So I'm going to click the element with our form, choose change element like before, select job form here. Our job form app is here. We can add a form from job form, authenticate our account. And once again, I have a form ready to go. I will select it. And you can see it's not quite the right size. I will change the pixels to a height I know works. Also, I should mention you can change the width of these forms right here with these square icons on either side of the form. But let's take a look at what this looks like here with the preview slider. And there you have it. That took, that was a very quick process. We have a landing page with Unbounce and Smart Builder created as copy with, a, with uh, artificial intelligence technology. We have our job form account connected and we're good to go. So let's save this page. And let's go back to my list of pages by clicking the Unbounce icon in the upper left corner of the page, then clicking the Pages label here, once again in the upper left corner of the page. And let's take a look at the data hub for the Unbounce landing page I have published. And this is what the data hub looks like. Uh, once you get more data rolling in, this page will fill out a bit. But as you can see, I have a 10% conversion rate. And this will fill in once you get more people visiting your landing page. Down here, you can opt to use smart traffic or A-B testing if you want to up if you'd like to upgrade your account with Unbounce. However, you can see the account that I've been using that is not upgraded is very robust, very useful. You can create a landing page in no time with AI technology. You can connect your JotForm account and keep working in one place with the forms you know and love with JotForm and the landing pager you will now know and love uh, with Unbounce. Uh, so thanks to us for, for listening to my demos today. Uh, Morgan, uh, back to you. Awesome. Thank you, Luke, so much for that demo. That was very clear and thorough. Really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I am just going to close this out. So we are not going to be doing Q&A in this session in the interest of time. But if you do have any questions or um, have used this integration already and want to share your experience or your examples, please feel free to email me directly, morgan at jotform.com, M-O-R-G-A-N at jotform. I also wanted to mention that our last webinar of the year will be another one of these short snack break sessions. We are doing that tomorrow, um, and that is about our integration with Cash App Pay. So if you are interested in that and haven't already signed up, again, you can just email me at uh, morgan at a job form, and I can help you get signed up for that. All right. And on that note, thank you all for being here. Uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll see you in the future. And 